Hey guys, Friend of the Craft Scissors here. Um, so this is a different kind of video. This is upside down. Um, <laughs> let's put the picture. So this is a pocket letter that I'm working on for a friend. All I did ahead of time for this video was um, pre-cut the background stuff. I haven't really stuffed it or anything. Um, I made some washi sample to stick in one of the pockets and that's about it. Um, I pulled these because I thought the lime green lettering, um, I can use it to label the pocket or put her name down or whatever. These are from Joann's from a long time ago. There's just a little bit of washi left on this so I thought I could use it to decorate one of the boxes. This is old washi from Walmart. So I'm using up stuff. And then this I got in a giveaway thing package from Mandy Jean Chic. Um, she used to be more on YouTube, but she's not anymore. Um, she does the leather, quill leather or something. I don't know. She does like tea and books. Anyway, so she sent me this and I thought that would be cute, a little black triangle banner. I'm going to use this for my little shaker pocket. And then I like these letters. They're more fall than Halloween, but I still think they're cute. And it's like a hodgepodge of letters, so I don't know what I'll be able to spell, but whatever I see an E there and her name is Emily for who I'm making it for so maybe I'll just put that on there I don't know or I'll just put some in one of the pockets and she'll have letters to use for something else I don't know yet because um, I'm not real sure what's in each pocket usually I like to design it and then put like paper clips or something like on it so we'll see how this works out um, the other stuff I have scraps of paper I have these little chipboard stickers I think they're from Walmart maybe um, and then this was sent to me from Natalie. Um, it's washi strips, but they're like sticker strips. So I thought I could use that on this too. So we will be having some fun there. Um, I'm not sure what else I plan on using. I don't really have a lot of Halloween stickers like on hand like to decorate with. So that's what I'm going to be using. All right. So the first thing I think I'm going to do, if this is hot, is this hot yet? Yeah, it's hot. Okay my pocket because the thing that I use is hot. So I need to get my mat out. This is my Martha Stewart mat. I used to make duct tape flower pens and I used to have to cut two inch squares. So this is really used up and I probably should get a new one. So I'm sorry it's so hideous. <laughs> I don't really care that much. Okay, so this is just fall leaves and pumpkins. I'm just gonna pinch some out. That looks like a good amount. I don't know how many I'm doing. I'm not about to count them. I'm just gonna shove them in there. Come on, shake apart a little better. It's probably noisy. Oh well. Okay, so ooh, that leaf went away. There it is. I got it. Okay, so these little pumpkins need to like separate themselves. They're being a little too crowded, in my opinion. Maybe I have too many. Those are too many. Here, I'll take some out and see if that helps. They need to separate themselves. Okay, there's another leaf. Okay. I feel like it's not full enough. Now I want to put them back in. Okay. So then I just take this. I'm going to line it up with a line on here. And make sure this, this is the plastic part. So I'm lining it up just above that. There is a guide that came with this little heat gun thing from We Are Memory Keepers that seals this stuff. But who knows where that went. <laughs> okay, let's see if it's hot enough. Yeah, it's hot enough. So you just follow the line so it's a little bit straight. I say a little bit straight because I'm not a perfectionist. And you don't want it to be too hot or not hot enough because then it won't seal properly. Or... It will, um, if it's too hot, it will melt it so bad it just makes a hole instead. So I'm going to let that seal for a second. See, the mat is fine. It handles the heat just fine, in my opinion. There's a little square that it comes with, but I'm not about to trust that. Okay, I want to make sure it's sealed. Yeah, it did. Okay, so I'm going to unplug that because it doesn't have an on-off switch, which is like, really dangerous because that thing gets really hot. Okay, that's unplugged. Um, so let's get started. This one I think I'm going to leave alone. I'm just going to leave that one alone. It looks cute just the way it is. But this one I'm not going to leave alone. So I'm going to take this off because it's hideous. 
I've never done this kind of video with you guys, so, and it's honestly, it's been forever since I've done a pocket letter, so I'm a little rough. <laughs> but I asked a friend, I was like, do you think they want to watch this? And she's like, I want to see it. And I was like, okay. So, here you go. Pocket letters. I just feel like there's a ton of pocket letter videos out there. So I was like, I don't know if they're going to watch it. Whatever. I just do it for fun then. Okay. This pocket, we'll say, is paper clips. Can I spell paper clips? P A P E. I have a R. R. C. L. I. P. Yep, there's P. S. Okay. So. I could just spell clips, but you know me. Gotta go above and beyond. So, P. Oop, that's crooked. Maybe I'll make them all crooked. Maybe I'll just make it crooked. P. A. P. <laughs> My ideas just keep coming. P. R. You just never know what you have left over when it's like these letters. I don't really buy these that often because I usually don't have the right letters by the time I spell one word. Usually it's my name because it uses up all the letters. <laughs> okay, and then clips. C L I the I P. Oh, I should move those over. I was like, it's not that many letters, so I started it over. These come off pretty good. <laughs> P. Started where I started the paper. There. There. I like it. That's fun. Okay. So that one's done. See, I do it really simple, you guys. I don't I don't complicate it. There's people out there that like, oh my gosh, it's so much work and like it just intimidates me. <laughs> okay, so speaking of paper clips actually gonna make her one out of these this is not something that I like would sell in the shop it's kind of like fun some of these are broken even I don't know where these are from what does it say I don't know that brand Creatology it says $2.99 I have no idea Hobby Lobby don't know it has a little foam dot that's not sticky Oh yeah, it is sticky when you peel it off. That's funny. I don't want the foam dot on there. I'm taking it off. Because I'm going to stick a paper clip on it. Let me grab one of those. And I'm going to put it two-sided, even though it probably won't match up. Because, oh, those are two different pumpkins for one. That's interesting. Is there one that kind of matches this one? Yeah, I guess so. That one. So will that look weird when it's turned around? Yeah, it will. I don't like that. Okay, so we'll just do it by itself. There's my hot glue gun. Here it is. This is my hot glue gun that makes all of your clips. <laughs> if you buy from me. Okay, so I'm just going to put some glue on there. Usually I would put a paper backing. Do I have any paper nearby? I do. But I want you to make my side go faster. And that's my son. Good night. Good night. I my go faster. He's whining. Isn't that fantastic? Okay. 
So I'm just going to cover this. It doesn't match, and I don't really care. It's just kind of a fun thing to do for people, is to make these fun things. So isn't that cute? Yep. So that's one of the clips that's going to go back there. And then I'm also going to give her just some little purple and black clips. She likes Halloween a lot, my friend Emily. You guys saw what she sent me, right? The little exploding envelope thing. Okay, so that was what that was for. And then I can turn off my hot glue gun. Okay. Yeah, he's four, so that's just the way he is. Okay, and then I made some washi. So I was going to put this in this pocket, so that's just going to stay in there. And then I wonder if I have enough. No, I don't have the letter for S. So I don't think I have enough to spell washi. Sad. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and take this and cut it off. And then turn it into a ribbon. I don't really have a plan. I just kind of start cutting and doing stuff. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take this out. See, I'm like jumping from square to square, like you never know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to glue this down here, and then I'm going to write the word washi on it with a marker. It's probably a paper made flare, actually, because y'all know I like that. And I'm going to write washi. So I want to make it a little cute so you can just put little dots around it. It just makes it a little bit more fun. It's kind of why I wrote it a little bit bigger. There. Washi. Done. I also thought, you know, there's a lot of people out there that might get intimidated by some of these extravagant pocket letters. And I'm like, more power to you for having all that talent, but I am not with you. I do not have that talent. So, now the paper that I'm using, I'm not sure. I think it's, um, oh gosh, Doodle something, Doodlebug Design Co. It's scraps. Like, I've already scrapbooked with this before, so it's not like a huge deal to me. I'm just trying to decide what I want to do here. That could be fun. Of candy corn shooting across there like a giant flag. I'm also using up my scraps. So I like to not use like fresh supplies for pocket letters. Like you need to use it as a way to use up your supplies. I mean, you don't have to, but I think economically, I think that's a better idea. So I'm going to glue this across here. See, I don't really have a plan. That's the thing. Like, there's no planning. There's, look at this piece of paper. It fits. That's what we're using. <laughs> so, I hope you guys like crafting with me. Because I haven't done crafting videos in, like, forever. I've done, like, scrapbooking tutorials before. And I don't think a lot of people watch it. But you guys seem to like my card making one. So, you know, I try. Trying things out. I used to pocket letter swap with a lady lots of times. We, we swapped for like a year, it felt like. Okay, happy hunting, so spooky. Or our little pumpkin. That sounds like a little boy, though. So I don't really like that. It says our little pumpkin. I think I'm going to use the spooky one because it's purple. It's like a chipboard sticker. <laughs> yes, that was difficult. Just a little bit. Okay, so I'm not going to put a title on what's in this pocket because honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. I think I'm going to put it down here. I don't want to put it too close to the edge because it has to slide in the pocket. And you also don't want to do too much dimension on this because then the stuff behind it won't fit well. That's what I was going to say. There. Okay, and then this one is not... This one was from a friend she made me like a flip book thing and she made this pocket and I just thought it was cute to reuse it so I put it in here and it has a couple of die cuts in there but that's about it so I'm not gonna deal with that pocket at all and then um, let's start with another little one let's see what can I do with you 
there's this little stripe there's the back of this it's kind of coordinating um, I'm not going to use those for that those are too big that's not going to match I thought I had one more paper. I don't know. I think this banner is going to go on that pocket, speaking of which. Which I'm not speaking of which. I guess I'm just going to make it up as I go. So instead of going this way, I think I'm going to go this way. But I want it to be a little bit narrower than that. Nothing has to be exact in a pocket letter, in my opinion. If you make one, it's beautiful. Just go with it. Ooh, do I like that side better? No, I don't. Sorry if I'm out of frame on some of this. I had to take my in-frame stickers off because I usually zoom in. I plan with me so it looks a lot different anyway. Glue. This is my ATG gun. In case you're wondering what it is. Tammy made me buy it. TT Scraps. Now that girl crafts. If you want to watch some on the craft on the regular, she does a lot of crafty videos. Mostly card making, actually. A few projects. I've done a few projects of hers, actually. Um, let's see what else. Let's put down this cat fence. That might be fun. Section of that. Okay, so I'm just going to put this at the bottom. Because I think that's how it goes best. You see what I'm doing? I'm lining it up. So now I have to cut off what I need. Thanks, Natalie. She sent me this sticker washi. Okay, so there's that. And I don't know what's going in this pocket either. Maybe some stickers. Oh, but I can't spell stickers because I don't have it. So we need another strip that I can ride on. Can I ride on you? No. I can ride on this one. Do I need more of this one? No. I have some weird spider one. I guess I could ride on that. <laughs> this is Walmart paper. Maybe this came with that. I don't know. I don't remember. I could stick this across here and then write stickers. I like it. Okay. I'm going to ride on it before I stick it because it's too many layers. Stickers. Okay. But I mostly. Oh, my ATG gun is not behaving itself right there. Hold on. Hey. You have to cooperate. I'm trying to film here. There you go. Are you feeling better? Why are you being difficult? You're supposed to go around there. And you twirl this way. Okay. You're just gonna be difficult. I don't, I don't like you. It's wrapping itself around the inside part, and it's not supposed to do that. But it can do what it wants, I guess, because it's its own thing. There, it's a cute little spider. And slide that in. Okay. Um, some stickers I might want to put in there. I was thinking these. I could cut some of these up is what I was thinking to fit in there. So probably like that. So you also don't have to buy things to go in here. So I just... Use what I have in that aspect too. I'm trimming that down just a little bit to try to get it to fit. I think it will. Open. I have to see if you fit. Oh, you're a little too tall. Okay. So I'll cut this one off, but I still want to give it to her, so I'm just going to put it in there with it. And then I also have some owls. These are from the Dollar Tree. So I think if I cut this owls always make me think of my friend Cece that passed away 
that's okay. She was like my first YouTube friend that passed away. It was very like, what? <laughs> so there's four different owls. So I'm just gonna put those in there. I think she likes owls. I'm not really sure. I hope she doesn't watch this. <laughs> she put like a footnote, don't watch. <laughs> or I don't post it until she gets it. I guess I could do that because it's like an unscheduled video anyway. Oh, look at that. We only have two more pockets. It's not taking too long. I hope I'm not taking too long. I don't know how long this usually takes people. Some people say they spend hours doing pocket letters, and I'm like, I don't have time for that. Okay, so this is low. I apparently have used one of these before, but I don't remember. It was probably a pocket letter. <laughs> Are these sticky? Not anymore. Okay, whoa. It's fun though, right? This one? Okay, so I'm gonna lay it down. Can you cooperate? Third one from the left? <laughs> okay, we can go that way. Okay, everybody. Goodness. Alright. So it wants to do that. So it's gonna make it go across that way. And how is she gonna stick this, you wonder? Flip it over. You have your little stringies out here. Check your ATG gun. Put some sticky. And then you stick this to it. And then you put some sticky. And you stick this to it. There. Done. Ugh, should I put something there just in case it like wants to stick? I'll cut some of this off. This one like bent or something, I don't even know. I should cover up my sticky spots. Which you're not even I mean the, the, this is the back, so I don't really care. I don't care. There. Okay. I keep moving that out of my way. Because it's always in the way. Alright, then I thought the happy haunting would be cute on this one. But the little pumpkin thing, that's not going to go on here. Because that's just weird. <laughs> you guys are like, it's not weird, use it! <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this down here. Ooh, let's use some of that. You guys are like, what is she doing now? <laughs> oh, you know, just decorating. I thought this would be fun. Down here. Yeah. More pumpkin stuff. Okay, where's my cutter? Did anyone see it? Do you guys know what I do with things? I don't. Okay, I guess we'll use scissors. Okay, so that needs to go back on the sticky paper. Okay, what are you doing? Don't do that. There. Okay. And then this is going to go up here a little bit now. So I'm going to cover up what I just did. Right? And then this is going to come forward. It won't stick. There you go. How cute is that? I like the banner. And it's moving, so I like it. Oh, don't move. I know, I just told it to. Why is it listening to me? That's probably where my note will go. So I should put note. Can I spell note? N O. Uh, yeah, all the T's are gone. So nope, I can't. No note. Okay, and I hear my son coming out again, so he's gonna have to go back to bed. So you guys are gonna hear me say that again. I think he thinks I can't hear him, but I can. I totally can. Mm -hmm. oh, I think it was this paper I thought I had more of, and I don't. I have this one. I want to see you make my stars glow one more time. Then you do it. He has stars on his ceiling. He wants to glow, and he can do it himself. He really can. I think I'm going to go all the way down with it. Mm-hmm. 
So instead of measuring, because who has time for that, I just hold it against it. Cut it off. Okay. Ooh, gun. Okay, I think I'm gonna have it go this way because the owl and the pumpkin at the top will be and the spider all going the right direction, so I like it. I hope you guys are enjoying this. This is kind of fun. I usually don't have anyone to talk to when I'm crafting. Oh, there's the cricket. Paper. Mm hmm Okay. I like this candy corn. Paper. I, I, just, don't know. I don't know. I don't know what you but Just turn the light on for a little bit. It's being difficult. On purpose. Okay. And then, let's see what else I want to put on there. Happy Halloween won't fit. That's too long. There's, oh, there's a little piece of paper. Hmm. I don't know. I haven't used the letter yet, but it doesn't really match. Unless I find a green one. If I get a green one, then it will. Good night. Come here. Okay, go to bed. Mommy's filming. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's a P that's green. And there's a B. That's not going to work. I need like an E for Emily. I know, I'm making a mess. It's okay. R, X, X. Really? Why do we need that? Yes. There's an E, but it's like floral. E does that matter? There's a tan E. Mm -hmm. I don't see any other E's. Oh, here's an E. I wonder if I could spell her name. Probably. E M. I don't see an I. There's a T. Nope. Oh, there's an I. How am I going to spell her whole name? Why am I doing this? Because all of a sudden I just started doing it. Okay, I think this one is my best bet. No. That's, I think she'll think that's cute. I like the tan one. This orange just blends in too much and that red, there's no red in this red. Pocket letter spread. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> I'm a fighter. <laughs> First and foremost. So chip letters are fun. I just glue them down with my ATG like a sticker. So I just make sure they have sticky spots and they stay pretty much. I used to have a container full of these that were like blue. I don't know what to do with those. Okay. So I just find a wide sp space that it has and I use it on there. Get the edge there. Okay, then I'll just stick this right here. There. So Eve Emily. There we go. And then I need to add some more stuff to the pockets, obviously. Um, but I like to just go through my stash of goodies and do that later. Um, I just kind of showed you some of it. So I hope you guys like the pocket litter. Um, I may add, um, usually I cover this up with washi. So we should do that. Let's use that pumpkin one, not that one. I'll use this one. Or no, trigger the Halloween one is too wide. That's what I was looking at. Is the blue one too wide? Not too wide. No, that's perfect. Okay, we'll use the boo. Because she calls her daughter her boo, I think. I think that's who she calls her boo. Which is like super cute nickname for her daughter. So I will hole punch this. Is what I do. Oh, I didn't go all the way to the top. Okay. I still like it. So I'll hole punch that. Okay, I don't want anything to fall out. So that's what the ugly backside looks like. Oh, there's people in there. 
crawled up in there. Okay, so I like to hole punch it because I'm guessing she probably has like a binder that she keeps it in. That's what I do. I have a binder for pocket letters. I always keep them. If you've ever sent me one, I still have it. Okay, so I just hole punch those. Like four of them, basically. I've also seen people like tie tassels and like the holes and stuff like that. But I don't really have that on hand right now. I don't think. I could dig out some more stuff to put in the pockets. You guys want to do that? I don't know what else I want to put in there. Okay. Let's flip it over so I know what I need to fill. Okay, so one of these is going to be my note. I still have to write that. <laughs> okay. Alright, so I have some gold sticker, puffy stickers. I can cut that down. Fit some of those in there. A lot of sticker stuff stuck to my finger. Um, I know she likes Hello Kitty. Can have some Hello Kitty stickers in there. And so not everything has to be Halloween. Like if you have a theme, it doesn't necessarily have to stay that way. Will these fit in those pockets? It's kind of big. I might have to go in there. She might like that. There's some. I know she likes mermaid stuff. So I'll send her those. Oh, there's a different set of owls. I'll send her some of those. Um, these are different because these are my. Those were from my Ipsy. It was a box they sent us. It was kind of funny. Those would be good. Oh, I'm gonna cut up some sticky notes and put those in there. Those are fun to do. Um. Oh, there's the blue letters I was talking about. See, I told you I had blue letters. And I'm trying to think what else would go. Those are two. I don't want. Okay. Let's cut some of that stuff down and see what I still need. Okay. Oh, it's washy. From something else I did. <laughs> Don't know. Okay, so if I cut four, that'll all fit in one. Stick these in there. And then we have two left. I can stick those here. Like that. And then so I'll give her these. Oh no, not Ipsy. Birch box. There's a birch box sticker. So I could send her some of these. How many will fit in there? Which one am I sticking this in? Okay, this has die cuts in the front, so that one's kind of done, it's just on the front. And then one of these is my letter, so I need to stick some stuff in there. Here, I'll cut this off so it doesn't look weird. Okay, so I'll get that one, and then cut half of these off, because some of these are not cut well. I know because I've used these owls, so I'm gonna give her a bunch of them so that they they work out. And then I was gonna stick these somewhere. It's like wooden. I don't even know. I think they're from a what's gonna call it? Does that fit in there? Yeah. Okay, so this is more stickers. And then I was gonna cut some of these off if I can. I was trying to find a straight line. I don't see one. I think here's best. There are some arrows. And then this may help her decorate her next pocket letter. See what I'm saying? So it's like she can use up however she wants to. Okay, these will be fun in there. I wonder if this would fit in here. Just so there's something else. Yes, it does. Okay, I'm going to put that one in there. I'll just get rid of that one right now. That's trash. Lots of trash generated. Okay, all this will go in that last pocket, and then I just need my note in the other one, and then I'm done. See how easy that is? Okay, and then a lot of the time people put washi at the top of here and there so that, like, the stuff stays in. So I've seen that done as well. Um, there's not enough of this for anything, so I'm going to grab some more. Hold on. Okay, so this is my Halloween washi in the middle. 
I have these clear trays that I keep on my my holiday washi in. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one. This is from Dollar Tree, a long time ago. Haven't seen it in a long, long time. Where is it starting? I thought that was the start line, but it's not. There it is. Okay. So it's opening from the front, so you want to seal it. So you push everything down. It's sticking out really bad. Who are you? The owls. Stinking owls. Okay. There. Now that should fit better. Alright. I'm going to cut off that stupid line because it's ugly. Okay. And then use this. So this she'll peel off when she like opens it. So it's not really part of the pocket letter. She might be able to reuse it. I'm not sure. Because it's Dollar Tree washi. So I'm not. I don't know. I make no promises on being able to reuse Dollar Tree washi. Okay. So then that seals that shut. And then I'll grab another Dollar Tree one. This is the banner. Which I gave her samples of this in here. So she doesn't have to like save it back anyhow. My desk is kind of a mess, and I still have a plane with me to film tonight. But I wanted to get this done so that she would have it in time, because some of this stuff is Halloween related, so she'd have it in time to use for Halloween. Okay, where am I putting my note? Oh, I'm putting my note here, so I don't want to seal that yet. So I want to seal this, which I can't use that for because it's not wide enough. Oh, I know. I have another set of Walmart washi. I've almost used up all my Walmart one for the Halloween. I still have 4th of July ones. These were like back when Walmart used to do these 97 cent washi rolls. They were like weird sizes. They were this size. Super wide. Loved it. Loved it. I can't believe they got rid of it. So annoying. Walmart does that though. Fall in love with something and they get rid of it. Okay. So I'm going to stick that down on the front there. Tear it off and then fold it over to close it. over. Make sure everything shoved in. It's also kind of fun because then she can, like with the tape it's like you get to open it. So I just need to put my note in and then I'll put in this washi to kind of finish it out. So then every row so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. It's going to look like this. Oop, don't want to knock all my washi off the desk. It wouldn't be the first time though, let's be honest. Okay, so that is what it'll look like when it's done, if you guys want to see. So I hope you guys like this. Um, give it a like and please subscribe if you have any suggestions. Obviously, you probably do because I'm still kind of an amateur at this. I don't do it very often, which is why. Um, and I also like to use what I have. I don't like to go and like buy specific stuff for this because I think being resourceful is one of the fun things about doing a pocket letter. All right, thanks for watching. Give it a like and please subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!